In this video lecture, we will be learning about mobile communication system and cellular concepts. After this video, learners will be able to describe cellular concept, identify the shape of cells used in cellular system, design cellular network using frequency reuse concept. In this video we will study about cellular concept, mobile phone system, frequency reuse concept. When we have to call someone, we just take out phone and dial the required number. But anyone has ever wonder, how it works? What exactly happens during this entire process? Let's see cellular concept. We can make a call from one part of the location to any part of the city. This is possible because, practically every city, the area is divided into small areas. Each area is called a cell and every cell has its own antenna, thus a cell can be defined as a small geographical area, of a communication system. Which also means the cell is the area covered by the single antenna. As the city is divided into small cells, it is mandatory. All cells should be the symmetrical shape. So based on the theory we have, four symmetrical shapes. Circle equilateral triangle, square, and hexagon. Think for a while, what according to you, should be the shape of the cell. If we select the shape of a cell as a circle, then the area between the two circles will not get covered by the antenna. And any attempt of communication from that area will fail. Thus circular shape is not possible to use. Similarly, by comparing the rest of the other shapes, that is equilateral triangle, square and hexagon, the hexagon has the highest area compared to the other two shapes. So we select the shape of a cell as hexagon. The next concept is mobile communication system, where the major component in this system are MS, mobile station, mobile phone BTS base transceiver station the antenna available in the cell BSC base station controller controller for the antenna MSC mobile switching center and master control of the entire system using this system if a user wants to make a call then the user will communicate with its attached base transceiver station the base transceiver station then passes this information to base station controller. The base station controller forwards the information to mobile switching center. And then the MSC finds the user and transfers the call request to the user. After getting the call request, the mobile starts ringing which indicates there is a new call request is coming. By now it's clear that for communication user require a set of frequencies, called channel. But if these channels are occupied by other users, the new user has to wait for a free channel. So to minimize this error, mobile communication system uses a concept called frequency reuse. It is nothing but reusing the frequency again and again at a certain distance. The service provider has a set of frequency to be used. So instead of allotting all the channels in a single cell, they divide the frequency channels into a small bunch. And distributes these bunch of frequencies to the different cells, makes the cluster. Here all the alphabet indicates a different set of frequency. So here same frequencies are used in different cells located at a distance. By using this concept the size of the antenna is reduced with less power to be transmitted as the area to be covered now is less. More number of user can use the channel for making the call. But if the channel allocation is not done properly then it will result into an interference, which may occur due to frequencies used in adjacent cells. Let's take a quick review. In a cellular system, the entire geographical area is divided into hexagonal cells. The mobile system has basic four components. The MS, BTS, BSC and MSC. To increase the availability of channels we can use frequency reuse concept. 